Hello, this morning I'd like to introduce two of our senior engineers here at uh, Anderson Global and in particular um, I'd like to introduce uh, Valentin who is our expert at low pressure counter pressure casting and this morning we're going to do a quick comparison of gravity tilt casting versus low pressure. So good morning Valentin, good morning Ben. Good morning. Okay, Valentin, I'm going to hand it over to you. I would like to introduce tilt casting and low pressure casting and to compare these processes. Most of the people who make castings are familiar with these processes. However, I will give some details. Gravity is a very popular process, just like tilt pour. We can make a variety of parts, small to large size, a variety of casting walls also, and when we fill the, the, ca the cavity of the mold, actually gravity do this, and uh, the pressure inside the cavity is already the pressure, uh, the hydrostatic pressure, which is uh, between 35 to 40 millibar. On the left side, you can see casting made in this uh, with this process, with the parameters given on the left, uh, almost two kilogram in weight, 7 to 40 casting wall. On the right, you see the machine that made this part. It's barely a machine, but uh, like a hydraulic station with vertical plates. We have the mold attached and we pour from the top. Then we open the mold and we get the, the part. It has a runner. It provides the metal inside and also it has a riser because without riser, we cannot get good parts. We will get shrinkage inside. So, uh, considering the weight of the casting and the runner and riser, finally we are able to use only 54% of the aluminum that we pour in the mold. Another feature of the gravity, it is difficult to make more than two parts, mirrored parts, in the same mold because there are some limitations in the process. Also, most of the cases need a uh, riser to avoid porosity and uh, after all we have uh, heavy runner heavy risers and uh, material utilization ratio is not so big. If we go to low pressure, we have uh, more advantages in this process. We can make small to large parts, but we also can make super large parts. The, the famous name is giga castings. Uh, the casting wall can be again thin to thick. Uh, pouring of the casting comes from the bottom. We have a furnace, pressurized furnace on the, on the bottom beneath the mold and we apply pressure on the furnace, then we fill the cavity. This pressure can be bigger, not only to fill the part, but to push hard the aluminum inside, thus to fit the part much better than gravity. Actually, it is at least 10 times higher than on gravity because we usually use 0 0.3 to 2.5 bar for low pressure casting. That increase the uh, density of the casting when you do that? It's very possible to increase the density, but we uh, we get intense cooling of the liquid alloy, and thus we improve the mechanical properties, we refine them, we, we get uh, finer microstructure and uh, stronger parts after all. So actually the more rapid cooling from the pressure yes. uh, creates all yes. yes. grain size. Yes, exactly, because of the intense heat transfer between the alloy and the mold wall, we have a much faster formation of the initial dendrites and growing of these dendrites. It's a metallurgy science, you know, but after all, we have a better microstructure, higher mechanical properties, shorter cycle time. All of these things are very important for the customers. So this would explain why many of our automotive customers, particularly in the in the steering knuckle suspension component area, are using low pressure cycle time and material performance. Yes, cycle time is uh, shorter than gravity because of the mechanism that uh, low pressure works and machines uh, provide much better and sophisticated cooling system uh, than gravity casting stations. But this we can reduce the cycle time significantly. Also, we can make very easy more than one part in one shot uh, by multiple riser tubes or even with one, one riser tube, but we can spread the flow to many parts and to fill them uh, simultaneously. So 
we have many advantages regarding the gravity and uh, that's why if we talk about uh, suspension parts many companies and foundries choose low pressure on the slide you can see another advantage uh, another advantage this is about the material that we use from what we melt initially we have a really high material utilization ratio in the case that uh, i show you now it is 97 percent it's really amazing because we have just a small sprue beneath on the bottom face and this is enough to fill the part yeah that's quite remarkable that's quite a contrast with the with the tilt and yes. gravity pour process if you imagine this part made by gravity it should be surrounded by runners and then risers on the top and after all we will go back again to this 40 60 percent of, of uh, material utilization ratio but now we have much higher and this is a big saving for the families so after all we can list all these advantages of low pressure versus gravity and tool pour using of aluminum in high percentage and less remelting after all which is a really a big saving for the foundry. Because of the mechanism of the solidification, because of the higher pressure of the filling, we have really fast and big heat transfer between the alloy and the mold wall. So uh, we have mechanical properties much higher than the gravity. We have also shorter cycle time. This is also important. We have more convenience to make more than one parts in one shot. We have an option to make uh, to use risers on low pressure. Uh, this is a specific case where we have thin wall and then a thick section to be fit. No problem to have riser. There is no not forbidden. <laughs> Due to the mechanisms of working, it is uh, not so uh, typical to have risers in low pressure parts. Okay, any questions? Okay, good. Thanks, Valentin. That's uh, that's helpful.